We're now in the final push ahead of Super Tuesday. Former President Trump is leading in all 15 states and territories where delegates are up for grabs. This is former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley hits the campaign trail looking for an upset. ABC's Ike Giazzi also has this story. This morning, Nikki Haley is celebrating her first victory of the 2024 campaign, winning the Republican primary in Washington, D.C., making her the first woman to ever win a Republican presidential primary or caucus. This is the time for us to make our choice. This is the time for us to be loud and let everybody know that America is better than what we see right now. Washington is one of the most heavily Democratic jurisdictions in the country, with only about 23,000 registered Republicans in the city. Shortly after Haley's victory, through a spokesperson, Trump sarcastically congratulated her on being named Queen of the Swamp by the lobbyists and D.C. insiders. Trump is likely to pick up several hundred delegates on Super Tuesday when voters in 15 states head to the polls. The former president barely mentioning Haley this weekend on the campaign trail. She was going around every show, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, this and that. That wasn't working too well. Haley now changing course, refusing to pledge to endorse Trump should he become the GOP nominee. So you're no Trump's longer bound by that pledge? No, I think I'll make what decision I want to make. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris setting the stage for President Biden's State of the Union address on Thursday, saying the choice between President Biden and Trump is clear. Fundamental freedoms under assault. The freedom to vote, the freedom from fear, violence, and harm. This is First Lady Jill Biden makes her waves on the campaign trail in Las Vegas, reminding voters of the influence and power women had during the 2020 election. We are immovable and unstoppable. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court has indicated it will issue rulings today that could include a decision on whether Colorado can kick Trump off the primary ballot after the state court ruled him ineligible due to his efforts to overturn the 2020 election results. No word yet on how this will impact the Illinois ballot after a Cook County judge ruled Trump ineligible last week. It is